Project Mogul was a top-secret project by the U.S. Army Air Forces involving microphones flown on high-altitude balloons, whose primary purpose was long-distance detection of sound waves generated by Soviet atomic bomb tests. The project was carried out from 1947 until early 1949. The project was moderately successful, but was very expensive and was superseded by a network of seismic detectors and air sampling for fallout, which were cheaper, more reliable, and easier to deploy and operate. Project Mogul was conceived by Dr. Morris Ewing who had earlier researched the deep sound channel in the oceans and theorized that a similar sound channel existed in the upper atmosphere, a certain height where the air pressure and temperature result in minimal speed of sound, so that sound waves would propagate and stay in that channel due to refraction. The project involved arrays of balloons carrying disc microphones and radio transmitters to relay the signals to the ground. It was supervised by Dr. James Peoples, who was assisted by Dr. Albert P. Crary. One of the requirements of the balloons was that they maintain a relatively constant altitude over a prolonged period of time. Thus instrumentation had to be developed to maintain such constant altitudes, such as pressure sensors controlling the release of ballast. The early Mogul balloons consisted of large clusters of rubber meteorological balloons, however, these were quickly replaced by enormous balloons made of polyethylene plastic. These were more durable, leaked less helium, and also were better at maintaining a constant altitude than the early rubber balloons. Constant altitude control and polyethylene balloons were the two major innovations of Project Mogul. Project Mogul was the forerunner of the Skyhook balloon program, which started in the late 1940s, as well as two other espionage programs involving overflights and photographic surveillance of the Soviet Union in the mid-1950s. Project Moby Dick and Project Gentrix. The spy balloon overflights raised storms of protest from the Soviets. The constant altitude balloons also were used for scientific purposes such as cosmic ray experiments. Echoes of Mogul's experimental infrasound detection of nuclear tests exist today in ground based detectors, part of so called geophysical mass In 2013, this worldwide network of sound detectors picked up the large explosion of the Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia. The strength of the sound waves was used to estimate the size of the explosion. Project Mogul and the Roswell Incident In 1994-1995, in response to an official inquiry by New Mexico Congressman Stephen Schiff, the Air Force published a report that advanced the theory that Mogul Flight No. 4, launched from Alamogado, New Mexico, on June 4, 1947, was what crashed near Roswell, New Mexico, and formed the source of the debris that sparked the Roswell UFO incident. However, the alleged flight number four does not exist in Mogul's own records, said to have been cancelled because of cloudy weather, according to project scientist Albert Crary's diary. Similarly, the previously planned flights number two and number three were also cancelled and thus absent from the records. Instead, the records show flight number 5 from the next day, June 5, 1947, as being the first actual Mogul flight in New Mexico. Several official histories of flight also indicate flight number 5, not number 4, as the first such New Mexico Mogul flight. It should also be noted that the number of the flight may have been a clerical error, as some latitude is present across various different sources for the date of the incident itself. References External links Physics lecture video in which Professor Richard A. Muller gives a detailed explanation of the science of Project Mogul, obituary of the man who launched the balloon HTTP, www.nmt.edu 3704 Charles B. Moore 1920-2010